Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I'm being the Lord. Lord gave me the deal with me in a few dreams. Um, mostly he deals with me in visions, but this was some dreams that he's been giving me. So anyhow, I'm going to kind of dive. Um, my left eye has something to do with it. So I'll tell you about that in a second, but I'm going to kind of dive into the dream. Um, it was sort of personal, but it is to the ministry in the church. Um, so I don't want to sound like I'm stuck on myself because I'm not. It's just the dream that the Lord gave me. So anyhow, in this dream, I was standing there and I was standing before Jesus and I had this this doctor's bag in my hand and he spoke to me and he said make sure it's a black doctor's bag I was like black doctor's bag okay so I looked down yeah it was a black doctor's bag and then I looked closer and in white letters written across it was the word prayer so I said okay well so then I opened it up to see what was in there and there was three things in there the first one that I pulled out was a long silver tube with a light at the end of it that you look into people's eyes with the doc, like the, the kind of like the doctor looks into your eyes with the second thing that I that I pulled out was a, 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 a silver tube with a magnifying glass at the end of it and a light and it was a thing that you stick in people's ears to see what their ears look like the inside their ears look like and the third thing that I pulled out was a stethoscope and so, and I woke up, cool dream, kind of etched in my brain, just, you know, what's it all about, Lord, you know. Two days later, I got the answer from the Lord. He told me, he said, go to 1 Corinthians 2, 19. And I, you know, some people can know the scripture, know exactly what it says, where it says it. I mean, they just studied it for so long in their life but that's not me well you know most of the time I draw a blank so when the Lord tells me something I have to go look it up so I had no idea what it said this is what it says I have not seen nor ear heard I might have to use a magnifying glass because I'll tell you about my eye in a minute nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him but God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. When I looked through this too, the Lord showed me that I, in this dream that I was looking into people's eyes to make sure they were seeing rightly in the Spirit. And I was using my left eye to look. And then I was looking into people's ears to make sure they were hearing things rightly in the Spirit. And then... I was listening to the heart to make sure their heart was postured right before the Lord that they could receive the things of the Spirit. So, it, it's just the vessel that I am. He created me to be a minister of the gospel of Jesus. And I'm not stuck on myself. I've got, I got a ways to go. My Christian resume is a lot of ups and downs, but I've some experience. 10 years, mad, probably 10 years, long time mad at God, away from God, learning from God, over something that I caused, not Him, blaming Him. It's messy. Not perfect, far from perfect. But God redeemed that all. And he, okay, so He showed me this, and then that was several months ago. And like I said, it was my left eye. So I was like, you know, it's just been it's been awesome. And I'm like, okay, God, let's you know, I kind of want this to progress fast. Um, and we do have a ministry down at the Austin Street Homeless Shelter in Dallas, my wife and I. So every Sunday night, so I have an opportunity there, an opportunity at our church. Um, it just you know, the Lord is starting to open up some opportunities. I just there's other pieces to that message. I'm not gonna get into that because I want to make this. You know, fit into this time frame. So, my left eye. First, it was the eye, looking in people's eyes, just like the scripture said. Then listening to the, then looking into the ears, and then listen, listening to their heart. In that order, and that was a specific order that I pulled them out. And it was my left eye. That was two months ago. Two weeks ago, awesome trip to San Diego. This is my kids' 30th anniversary. My wife's 30th anniversary. The Lord moved. I'll, I'll give that message later on in, in miraculous ways, in many, many, many ways in the spiritual realm. 
my kids' life and some people that we met, and just it was awesome. Plus, we had an awesome time for our anniversary, so it was kind of a combination. It was just great. It was awesome. Get back, tired, unpacking. Been up since two in the morning because we were caught an early flight. I'm packing my toiletries, and I thought it was my eye drop bottle that I unpacked. But it was this stuff called alkaline that we put in the water to change alkaline to in, in your water. And I put it in my eye and it instantly burned my eye. Like, boom, burned it shut. Hollered for my wife, flushed it out. Emergency room, trauma center. The whole day, it was 9 o'clock at night, my eye was jacked up. One doctor's like, oh, we got to do all these operations. Another another doctor like, no, we're going to wait and see. We're going to wait a couple days, see a specialist within two days. Sets me up with a specialist. This guy's like booked up for three months, but he takes emergencies. And I was an emergency, so he took me in. While I get there, oh, man. It's like putting Drano in your eye. Well, anyhow, so before that, the day after it happened, I got to tell you this. The day after it happened, the Lord spoke to me, and He said, "What the enemy has meant for destruction, Jesus was taking back for instruction in my life. I'm going to give me power to tread on serpents. I'll take that. You know, I don't know why sometimes God, you know, this this is miraculous healing, and I'll tell you about it in a second. But I don't know why sometimes." Some miracles happen in some people's lives and some they don't. I know people that have miracles, miraculous to survive cancer and have awesome testimonies. And I know people that have passed away from cancer. So, and I'm sure we both do. I don't know all the mysteries behind it, you know? If there is even a mystery, you know? But I'm going to stand on what God told me to do. So I'm standing on that. That's day, day one. Day two, I go to the doctor, the specialist. Really nice guy, very professional. I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. He's been a doctor for, you know, supposedly for like 30 years, a specialist in his field, one of the top ones in, the, in Dallas. Oh man, it's like putting Drano in your eye. There's stem cells around the outside of your eye that, he's like, they're dead, they're gone. That's what regenerates your eyes. Killed, killed them all. And some other cells called Wembley cells or something like that. Just toast. The eye's going to melt, the cornea's going to melt, going to have to do this surgery, that's so three or four surgeries, cornea transplant, blah, 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 da, 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 and I'm like, I don't think so, you know, this is not sitting real well with my spirit, I'm like, I'm not accepting that, that's not what God told me, so he said, uh, he said that he wanted to do something that would probably help and was put in this this it's like a contact lens but it's a real thick one with this embryonic tissue on it which was the, like the, the stuff from the placebo or not placebo but placenta from a woman from a woman after she has childbirth and it's got that atta membrane attached to it it's all you know clinically cleansed and all that stuff so i'm like okay he's like it'll rest your eye like, okay, rest my eye. That sounds cool. I, you know, I'll go for that, but not these other operations. I'm saying to myself, you know, that's not what God told me. I'm not gonna have to have all this stuff. God's gonna do it. So, get it done. Stick it in my eye. So it's gonna take two weeks to dissolve. You know, one. You know, and about a week later, I have another appointment with him. Well, the day before, I mean, it had already dissolved started to dissolve and this thing this contact lens was huge it was thin it was man it felt like somebody smacked me in the head with a two by four it hurt bad like really bad really bad like just a lot of pressure and irritation and just you know my, my wife's like oh we got to go to the emergency room i'm like no i got a doctor appointment tomorrow let's just wait and see and just like the lead and Tylenol and he went to bed, went to the doctor the next day. He was like, oh, well, that thing is out. And he's like, oh, there's new growth. 
The stem cells are coming back. Well, of course they are. That's what God told me. Life's coming back. Life where there was death and destruction and all this stuff that the enemy puts in our lives to try to hinder us. Death and destruction, lying, stealing. It's, you know, the enemy of our soul, it's, it's real. He's real. It was just a little landmine, a little trap. Yeah, it was my mistake. Part of God's instruction, you know, don't be so stupid. Be a little, pay a little more attention. Don't be so, you know, ignorant. And pay, you know, it's, that's just piece of it, you know. That kind of stung a little bit. It stings a little bit. My wife reiterated that some. The devil really reiterated that. My wife was angry. Of course she was angry, you know. I mean, it cost us over 1200 bucks already, plus the whole day in the emergency room. Plus, she didn't even know, you know, it was a mess. Over, over ignorance. Some, you know, you just tell the truth. So, but, life's coming back. The Wembley cells are starting to come back. Oh, wow, you know, this and that. And, 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 you know, so he's like, oh, okay. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that. Two, you know, two-thirds of the eye around the edges, it was already starting to grow back. And not all the way, but started to, you know. So I'm like, okay, but those are the things that regenerate the eye. So cool. Starting to see a little bit better each day. Then I go back a week later, or a few days later. He takes the contact out and he puts in another one. He said that it's perforated contact is not as big, and he said that'll help the cornea too. So I'm like, okay, let's go for that. So puts that in. Same thing when I go back to have him look at that. Oh wow, there's you know there's more growth. There's some epithelia or something. I'm not a doctor, so you know there's, so there's so suddenly there's three things that are are right: stem cells, Wembley cells, and the epithelia. And it's all healing, and st you know, life's coming back. I'm starting to see a little bit better. I can see the clock on my the kitchen stove a little bit, you know, starting to be able to make it out. Hurts a little bit today, a lot of pressure. Um, that's why I use a magnifying glass. But 70, 80% better. When it gets 100% better, there's some other miraculous things that the Lord has healed, healed in my body. That seems to be an area where the enemy fights me the, the most. And there's another area that I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to wait a couple months because it's in the process. I'm in the process of this miraculous healing, not just to my eye. A couple months from now, I'm going to have an awesome testimony of a miraculous healing that God has done, and some of them He's already done. And so I know it's just a continuation of it. So. That's the dream. That's where I'm at with God. Just awesome. Because it's time for us as Christians, it's time for us men and women of God to stand up, to take back that authority. Speak as someone with authority. Because we have the authority of, of God himself through Jesus. And look at some of my other messages. Some of them are pretty awesome. It's not me. I'm just this vessel, like I said, my Christian resume. Okay, it's, I don't know if tainted is the right word, but far from perfect. But it's awesome what God has gotten in this 35 year journey. So I don't know where your journey's at today. I don't know what you're going through. Email, you can email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com if you want. If you got one, just keep it personal or private or whatever. You can put comments on my YouTube channel. Please share it with other people. If you watch this video and you like it. Um, just, Jesus is awesome. It's an awesome time we're living in of grace. Not to do whatever you want to do. That God still has a standard. People are taking that out, some people, and that's a whole other message, so I'm not going to even go there. Um, so, Jesus is awesome. So, who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Word. Go to your source. Get it directly from the source. So, anyhow, if you want a copy of this free book that the Lord inspired me to write, it's called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and the Future for America. Um, 
it's where the Lord has been dealing with me and visions. We all have great gifts and callings and awesomeness. Some in healing, some in you know various different areas that God has. You know the members, the body fitly framed together. That we all have a part and a place. And things, gifts, and callings that He's given us. And he just happened to speak to me in vision, so it's nothing I did. So I spent six months, almost a year, putting together vision, putting together, studying the Bible to put scriptures with it because I don't want it to be me. Left off the interpretation because I don't want it to be me. It's just what the Lord dealt me with. About, look at my video about free Christian book. But anyhow, you can email me and get a copy of it. No strings attached. And I won't ever, you know, use your email for anything. I'll send you. Anything I want to ask for an offering, I want to send you a bunch of, a bunch of crap, nothing, just the book. That's it, no strings attached. Or you can get it on Amazon, it's available on Amazon. But anyhow, so we love you guys. Uh, and like I said, in the next couple months, I'm going to share an awesome healing message with you. Um, I'm going to try to put more on. My wife's going to come on next week. She's going to start helping me with this. Uh, it's just awesome journey. Awesome to be a child of God. Awesome to be a, a king and a queen because we have authority. And that's what the enemy is trying to stop us with, trying to stop the church with. He's always got all these little landmines and little things. But he can't stop this move. Thank you for listening. We love you. We appreciate you. God bless you. Um, I hope this inspired you. Just let me know what you think. Comments. Yay, nay. Like, don't like. I'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a great and wonderful day.